If you think America's two-party system is totally dysfunctional, then you're in the right place. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Art. Every weekday morning I do a short video in the hopes that I can encourage discussion, um, conversation, that's pleasant and values all the members who participate, as opposed to the two-party trench warfare that doesn't really listen to people. They only listen to respond so they can shoot back at you. And there's no middle ground. You go to middle ground, you get shot to hell. No, we've got to get back to the real America. The real America that has compromise. Remember that term? Not used much anymore, but Amer compromise is America's greatest strength. From the great compromise at the Constitutional Convention to the compromise that each of us have made to be Americans and the compromises we've made to make America work in the past. But with a two-party divide, there's no compromise. Compromise is tyranny. These people should not be leading our country. We need common people, people who live their lives in the real world. Washington has become an isolated place, a world unto itself, where politicians convince other politicians of the merits of projects that have none other than to spend the taxpayer money. You vote for mine and I'll vote for yours. We don't care if it really has merit for the entire country. We got to change that. It's time for you to realize that the political parties want you stupid and they think of you as stupid. I'm, I, I want you to think about that because they don't want intelligent, thoughtful, uh, independent thinkers. That's the last thing they want. That's what I'm trying to encourage. Because if we get enough thoughtful, independent thinkers, the days of the two-party system are numbered because it's a stupid system. Why does no one else want it? The answer is all of the major democracies in the world, other than ours, have multi-party systems, which forces the parties to work together. They have to, they have to form some kind of a coalition in order to get anything passed. Wouldn't that be an improvement over what we have now? I certainly think so. You know, when you have two parties that can't agree in business, they hire a third party. Uh, to have a party come in and evaluate the information between the two and very commonly solutions can be found. But we can't have a third party in this country because the two have eliminated the competition from the quest for president. And unfortunately most citizens only understand the quest for president. So therefore, if you ask almost anybody, they will tell you that a vote for a third party is a wasted vote. But did they ever tell you why that is? It's because the two parties have contrived the system by what's called winner-take-all rules, WTA. Because if you get the majority of the votes in a state for president, you get all of the electoral college votes. <laughs> Stupid. But what it does for the parties is it means that they don't have to pay attention to most of the country, just the battleground states. So essentially they throw away most of the votes for president. They don't care. They want to just have the battleground and win at that battle. They don't care about the United States of America, united. Remember what the Constitution said. We the people in order to form a more perfect union. Well, that's the discussion I want to have right there. How can we form a more perfect union? Well, I'll tell you what, there was no provision in the Constitution for political parties. The first two presidents warned against them. Lobbyists, <laughs> lobbyists to me are an absolutely immoral proposition. We should not have lobbyists at all, from my point of view, let alone political action committees. And now they have the super political action committees, the super PACs. 
I believe all four of those concepts are absolutely immoral. They're crooks that have taken over the government. And if you think your crooks are better than my crooks is good enough, it's not. Voting for the lesser of two evils is still evil. I paused because I wanted you to think about it. I absolutely believe political parties are evil. So what do the most successful democracies in the world do? And that would not include us because we are dysfunctional with our two-party system. The answer is all have multi-party systems. Much harder for special interests to control and also the parties are placed in a situation where they have to work together or they're not going to get anything passed. We don't have parties that work together. We have parties in direct opposition. We're a nation divided, so let's change it. Let's have that discussion. All right, well, I hope I've given you a little bit of something for your discussion. This is most likely my last morning here. I hope to be heading back towards North Dakota by kind of the long way, but I love this. It's, it's a beautiful road and life is a journey. So I hope you will enjoy your journey I hope that you understand every day is a gift. That's why they call it the present. So unrip, unwrap that present with somebody special today and have a pleasant conversation or discussion. Have a great day.